Series 2. Tabernacle. Michigan. Tabernacle in the Garden. Bereshit. Genesis 3.8. We heard the voice of Adonai God walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze. So the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of Adonai, Elohim, among the trees in the garden. Throughout scripture, the tabernacle, Mishkin, is a symbol of Adonai's perpetual desire to dwell with his people. As theologian Anthony A. Hokima says, human beings reflect God, who exists not as a solitary being, but as being in fellowship. While one might assume that fellowship between humanity and Elohim began in the tabernacle, following Israel's exodus from Egypt and the tent of meeting in the wilderness. God first dwelt with Adam, Adam and Hava Eve in the Garden of Eden, Genesis 3.8. The canopy of trees under which their relationship grew provided an intimate place for them and was a precursor to future dwelling places in which Elohim and humanity could have fellowship. Adam was placed in the garden by God to cultivate it. In Bereshit, Genesis 2.5 There was as yet no wild bush on the earth, and no wild plant had as yet sprung up. For Adonai, God, had not caused it to rain on the earth, and there was no one to cultivate the ground. To cultivate relates to Shomer, the Hebrew word meaning to guard, as their loving and protective father Adonai is therefore with Adam and Hava, reminding them that communion can, can exist only in relationship with them.